share with you about um, was it about two weeks ago? We did this. Uh, we had uh, we had a similar workshop uh, held in Singapore, which was full house. And because we you know we 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 were really so appreciative for the audience that came. We spoke to Ken and thank you so much, Ken and Energic, for giving us this opportunity to come here and speak and share with all of you today. We promise you today that all of you will leave here with something, something very useful, something really exciting that today you're going to have your breakthrough and we are very, very excited for all of you. Yeah. Now, today what's going to happen is it's going to be quite interactive, right? But because we're on Zoom and we can't hear you, we're going to interact via the chat box, right? So Dr. Darren is going to make it very interactive. He's going to be asking all of you to react by, you know, typing once or typing a yes, uh, giving us emojis. We love it when we, when we see those reactions from you, right? We really, really love it because we know that you are still awake, right? But before that, can I also request for all of you to just switch on your cameras because we can actually see you. We've got a screen that's behind us right now. We can see all of you, uh, the entire Zoom. So we love to see all your faces and all your reactions as well, right? Um, so we'd love to see all of you reacting to it. So what's going to happen today, we, we have a lot to share, right? And, um, you know, a lot of people always tell me that the mind works like a parachute. The mind works like a parachute, right? And just like a parachute, it works best only when it's open. So over the next couple of hours, we're going to be sharing with you a lot of information. And some of this information this afternoon, you might think that, hmm, I, I think this info is, might not be that relevant to me, right? Or you might think, hey, this, this information, well, not so relevant to me at this point in my life right now, right? For that kind of information that you think might not be that suitable for you, do not throw it away, right? Just keep it with you, write it down somewhere, keep it with you, uh, very handy, so that come next week, next month, sometimes it might even be years down the road, I'm not sure, right? You might just suddenly recall when you, when you hit a point in your life, you say, hey, I remember that time I was sitting down in a seminar room, in a webinar room, someone was speaking on stage, you know, his name is Dr. Something, you know, I can't remember his name, but I remember what he said to me. And you think that, hey, I think I want to use that information right now. I think that's useful to me right now. When you hit that point in your life and you think that, hmm, the info is, you know, useful to me, can we request that you take out this information, more importantly, take action, apply it in your life, and please benefit from what we're going to be showing you right now. Can we do that? Yes. If you, if you agree, Please type a one inside the chat box right now if you agree, right? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, awesome, awesome. Lovely, awesome. I'm so excited, so excited. And now this afternoon, we've got something really, really lined up for you, right? Very, very exciting. And Dr. Darren, now before I invite Dr. Darren up on stage, I'm going to be sharing a bit more about him, yeah? So Dr. Darren... He is an amazing guy. He's a entrepreneur, business entrepreneur. He's also a um, life coach and is also a business executive coach to a lot of companies out there. And at the same time, um, Dr. Darren, what he's done is he's also been a para-athlete and he's also an author of a book as well. He's also an international speaker. Now today, thanks to Energic, we'd like to really thank them once again. Um, we are given this opportunity for Dr. Darren to come down here and speak to all of you. And it's going to be awesome because Dr. Darren, for the past 13 years, he's been on a life mission. And he lives by this tagline that disability is only in the mind. He truly believes that disability is only in our mind. And only when we overcome you know, our mindset, how we can overcome our mindset, we can truly, truly have our breakthrough. And today he's on a life mission to share this word with everyone out there so that all of us will be able to elevate ourselves right and achieve the human potential have our breakthrough and more importantly bridge the gap you know the human mindset gap to bridge that gap for all of us now how many of you now are ready for your success give me a one in, in the chat box that you're ready for your success you're sick and tired of you know not being able to you know hit you're hitting that ceiling right now and you're telling yourself how, I don't know why, but I, much as I try, I just cannot break through that ceiling. How many are feeling this way right now? Give me a one in the chat box. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome. And so also, how many of you want to be able to, you know, optimize your mind with your body, right? To optimize your mind with your body, to have the, to have the equilibrium breakthrough of, of, of all time, 
right? And how many of you ha have found that, you know, at the start of this year, you're, you're telling yourself, hey, you know, I want to I want to achieve a lot, you know, but then now that you're in the third quarter, almost reaching the last quarter, or in fact, we are almost at the last quarter, you, 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 you found yourself short of your goal. How many of you are actually feeling that? Type in a, type in a two right now. Type in a two for me. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, without further ado, I'd like to invite on stage right now to share with you his story and how he's actually helped thousands of people have that breakthrough. Please help me to put your hands together to please welcome on stage Dr. Darren. But before that, I've got a short video to show you. So sit back, relax, and just enjoy this video. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? I am so excited, but because we are in Zoom, I just want to make sure that everybody is hearing me loud and clear. So if you are hearing me loud and clear, can you all just type in one so that I can see in the chat that everybody can hear me. And that is awesome. I can see everybody. I can hear every lovely, lovely response. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I am so excited that this is an international crowd. We've got people from UK, I heard, right? Where from UK, from where, where else do we have? Any, Dubai. Dubai was wonderful. Wow. Any Southeast, Southeast Asia people you're, you're getting? Because we are expecting some Southeast Asia people. Are we expecting any more people coming in recently? But really, I'm just so excited today because today there is so much for me to share and I just cannot get started. Can't, can't wait to get started because when Kent told me, I think last week when we had the face-to-face -face workshop, he said that he wanted to do one for the overseas team. I was just thinking it's an awesome, wonderful idea. And that's why we are here today. Um, Ren, Brandon and I were just thinking how to get this going for today to make sure that it's a success. And today we know that we have something wonderful for each and every one of you. Now, first things first, I just want to let everybody know, I just want to say congratulations to every single one of you. Congratulations because the reason why you are here is because you made a decision. Everybody, the reason why you are here in this Zoom call is because you made a decision and in life, every decision that we make always gives us a reward. Every decision we make gives us a reward. Good decisions gives us good rewards. Better decisions gives us, you got it, better rewards. And so in life, you realize that ultimately 
and fundamentally, the quality of our life, the quality of our destiny really lies in the decisions that we make. And really the decisions, the quality of our decisions really impact how we live and how we live our lives. So I believe in destiny. I believe in destiny because I believe that we can control and we own our destiny. But sometimes people get a little bit afraid of the word destiny. People get afraid of the word destiny because sometimes people mistake the word destiny for fate. How many of you have got that mistake sometimes? Because some people say that, no, I, I cannot let people control my fate. I am the controller of, I, I cannot, I, I do not believe in fate. And for me, myself, I don't believe in fate either because fate talks about predestination. It talks about things happening in your lives that you have absolutely no control over, which I do not believe in. But destiny is different. Destiny is about your actions, your choices that determines your world. So your breakthrough in your life depends on your actions, on your choices that you make. And your actions and your choices ultimately impact on your destiny and it will change your life. And change and breakthrough is ultimately what we all want, don't we? Now, before we start, we are going to do a simple, simple activity. Is that all right? What we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to ask a very simple question. We're going to ask a very simple question and we are going to ask you to think about this question. And it is about breakthrough, right? We are asking you this simple question and I just want you to take your time, maybe about one minute, just to think about this question that I'm posting to each and every single one of you. So give me three words that identify and means the word breakthrough for you. What does breakthrough mean to you? What do you think? Yeah? So think of that, think of that question. Give me about maybe two, two words, three words. And once you've got those two and three words all locked in, I want you all to go into this URL, www.menti.com. And then, and then I want you all to punch in the code, all right? The eight digits code. And then when you go into the code, you can then put in your answer, all right? Everybody is listening and hearing me loud and clear. Everybody can understand my instructions, right? So again, go into the URL, punch in the eight digit code, and then reply according to what those three words, those three phrases that represents breakthrough for you. I'm gonna give maybe another 10 seconds for everyone. It's true for true. Maybe another five more seconds before I show you the answer. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. And shall we take a look and see what kind of answers we have from everyone. Does everybody have the code? Not seeing any URL, right. Okay. 
So the if everybody just go into your chat box, I think perhaps what we happened just now was that um, the glare over here at the studio made it very difficult for everybody to see the code number. Yeah, because over here it's quite glaring actually. Yeah, above above me are two bright lights, right? Trying to in a way, give me better perspectives and, and better lighting. But at the same time, what, what happens is that it, it makes the, the, the board behind me a little bit difficult to see. I, I can understand that. I can understand that. I can understand that. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to wait a little bit more just to make sure that everybody can get the, the code number. And I'll just read it out loud. The code is 3... Two, eight, three, one, five, three, three. Again, the eight digit code is three, two, eight, three, one, five, three, three. And again, the question is what would be a single word or a single phrase? that comes to mind when we talk about, when we think about breakthrough, shall we? So what we have done here over here in the studio is we have turned on the lights, we have turned down, we have dimmed down the lights so that the background is a little bit easier to see. Every, everybody should be able to see the PowerPoint slides a little bit clearer and thank you, wonderful. We have some answers coming in, right? We've got We've got, uh, what do we have? We have difference, we have financial freedom, we have fertilization, we have financial independence, right? Financial freedom, financial independence being the same thing, more or less. Purpose, right? So success, wonderful words, wonderful words indeed, right? Wonderful words. And, you know, when it comes to breakthrough, for me, what is really important is to understand that when it comes to breakthrough, it is really about change. You know, it was actually Winston Churchill that told us that to break through is to change. If you really want to have breakthrough in your life, you need to be determined to change. Because it was also Winston Churchill that said, to break through is to change. But, but actually, to be honest, his exact words was to improve is to change. It is just that I took the liberty to, to in a way, adapt his word and to say that uh, to break through is to change, which I think fundamentally the, the idea is the same. But it is true because if you really want to have any breakthrough in life, you need to have the courage to change. And I know that everybody in the call here today, you guys have the courage to change. I believe that people in this industry, everybody has a function has the courage to change. Not many people do that. And so I applaud every one of you because change for you, you know that it's inevitable. You know that it's important. But anyway, it's also important to know of another important idea, which is from 2,000 years ago, 2,500 years ago, this philosopher said, right, the only constant thing in life is change. And that is also true, because you know that if we are to do absolutely nothing, if we are to do absolutely nothing for a day, 25, 24 hours, and if we do nothing, one million cells, one million skin cells drop off our skin just like that, without us even knowing anything, right? So we have one million skin cells dropping off, and one million skin cells adding on to our skin. And yet, right, change is happening to us all the time, which is why this quote is absolutely true. 
The only constant thing in life is change. And so if we agree with what Winston Churchill said, and if we understand what um, this philosopher, this great philosopher said, then we also need to agree that really for us to have breakthrough is for us to have intentional change. It's not just change that we're looking at, it is intentional change. It is not just intentional change, it is change that helps you to elevate. Because change, change by itself can actually just perhaps be a little bit, 1% change, 2% change that doesn't do anything for your life. Now, what do I mean by that? I run a learning center and I teach kids. And I know that just because certain students improve by one mark, by two marks, unless they change their grade, that improve in mark actually doesn't really help them in their studies, in their exams. So really to break through, to have that certain level, that certain quality, that certain elevation, the idea is breakthrough. When it comes to breakthrough, there are three principles when it comes to breakthrough. The first principle is the use of planning if we want to have breakthrough. If we want to have breakthrough, you need to plan. Without a plan, you are doomed to fail. Without a plan, all right, time and change rule us all. Mm. Without a plan, time and change rule us all. And that is true. And so we need to understand mm. that to, in order to really to have our breakthrough, we need to plan. But there are two types of planning that we need to be aware of. The first one is achievements. The first the other one yeah, I'm is achievement versus success. And these two are two different words. Similar but different. See, achievement is about what you have done compared to what others have done. So, you know, achievement is really about comparison between what you have done compared to what others have done. But success is different. Success is about what you have done compared to what you should and could have done. In other words, success is about potential. Success is about whether or not you fulfill your deepest and fullest potential. And when it comes to breakthrough, the key word, or the key thing about breakthrough is that we are looking at their, at your success. We are not really interested about what, how you are doing compared to what others are doing. We are I'm sorry, I, I, I think I was muted for a while. Um, the, for, for, for how long was I mute, muted? If anybody could just give me a rough idea. So I can just start here. Is that, is that right? Maybe some idea from the, from the floor. All right. So, so again, maybe I'll just, the, the last idea that I was bringing forth is that when it comes to planning, there are two types of planning that we need to be aware of. Achievements 
versus success. Achievements is the between what you have done compared with what others have done. And that is about achievement. But success is really about a comparison between what you have done as to what you should and could have done. So success is about your potential. And when it comes to your breakthrough, you are always interested and you are always focused on your breakthroughs. You are always focused on your success. Not so much about what others have done, but it is really about what you can do. Yeah. So for us to really achieve our breakthroughs, you also need to understand the times that you are in. And what I mean by that is that when it comes to breakthroughs, there are altogether six domains. Some of these domains include business. Some of these domains include your health, your self-development, right? And when it comes to breakthroughs, you may have a breakthrough with your health currently during this season of your life, during this time of your life. But there may be other areas of your life where you are seeking breakthroughs in. You know, in life, I really come to a conclusion that there is no one person in life that has all six areas in their life having breakthroughs all the time. There will always be one little area, two little areas whereby we are always seeking breakthroughs. That is what life is, isn't it? We are always seeking breakthroughs in some form or another, some way or another. So really in life is really to look at our life in totality and to ask ourselves, in what area can we seek better breakthroughs in? Finally, all right, the third principle is to know that for us to be better, right? For us to be better in life, we need to be better, right? For us to be better, a lot of times, many people think that for, for life to be better, the government needs to be better. Many people think for life to be better, my spouse needs to be better. Well, I've come here to tell you that for life to be better, only one person and one person alone needs to be better. And that person needs, you've got it, you. And it's fantastic, isn't it? Because no more and no longer do you need to wait for your success to happen. Success comes to you today, right now, because you have the power, you have the authority to make things happen, right? Making things happen, once you realize that you have the power and the authority to make things happen, that is where success really starts to flow. You know, I am 47 years old now, right? And I have lived, well, almost, yeah, 47 years of my life and really many, 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 many wonderful experiences. I've had wonderful friends. In fact, our MC for today, Renan, is a great, dear, a, a great dear friend. In fact, he is one of this, he is in one of the faces here, if you can identify him, all right? So I, I, really, I, I really had a wonderful childhood, right? My childhood was great. I, I was, without, just, without being bashful, I was good in my studies. I had great friends. I had good relationships with my, with my parents. And, and really, when, when my friends, when I was younger, was looking at me, I think many of them were just pretty envious of me. And, and at that point in time, I was actually thinking of really being a doctor and I got into medical school in Singapore. And in Singapore, being in medical school is really quite a big deal. Because you see, at that point in time, about 20 over years ago, we only allow maybe about 150 students to come into medical school. And, and so for us to enter medical school, it's something to be really uh, happy with. And, and I was, it, was, it was a wonderful experience to go through the five years. I mean, even though it was difficult, but I love, I love, I love what I was studying. I love the impact that I was doing with the um, lives that I was impacting uh, in the hospitals. And so I graduated with medical school 
I graduated in medical school in the year 2000. I was delighted and I was determined to become a neurosurgeon. I've always wanted and I've always loved to be in, in the um, surgery. Uh, that was where I was most of the time. Many people wanted to be in the uh, library. But for me, I always wanted to be somewhere where the action is. And so I was doing, after my medical school, after I graduated, I was very determined to become a neurosurgeon. Um, so I went into what is called the internship year, the housemanship year. And three days prior to the start of my houseman, and I, and I still remember that date as if it was yesterday, right? 28th of April, year 2000, I was just playing my computer games, playing my computer games heartily because I know that in three days' time, 2nd of May, year 2000, I will be starting my life as a houseman. And I know that once I start my life as a houseman, it's the start of my, where my life is wrought for me and I dedicate one year of my life in the hospital. Because as a houseman, we all know that you are either in the ward, you are either in the hospital, or you are at home sleeping. So I was just, you know, just playing the computer game, enjoying the so-called the last few days of my life, uh, doing the things that I like to do. And then suddenly what happened was that I couldn't see half of my visual field. And, and what it means is that if you want to, if I look at you right now in the screen, I will be able to see half of everything that's around me, my visual field, everything is, I can see perfectly fine, but I wouldn't be able to see the other half of my visual field. In other words, I can see Brandon who is here, somewhere around here. I mean, you, you all can see him, but I'm telling you that he is here. But then right, the rest of the room is completely dark to me. And to me, that was the first time that was happening to me and I was a little bit alarmed, a little bit shocked. But as a doctor, we also know that whenever there is something that is uh, urgent, that is different, we will always train not to panic. You know, as everything has a reason. And so I was thinking maybe what I should do is I should just go back to my room and just rest. At the point in time, I was just thinking perhaps I just played too much computer games, right? Maybe my brain was just over over, over fried. I walked back slowly to my bed. I sat down and that was when the worst headaches of my life started growing, right? The headaches was intense. The headaches was painful. And what was worse was that the intensity was just getting worse and worse and worse, minute by minute, second by second. And what was worse was that nobody was at home. My parents were away at a point in time on a cruise. My sister was out with her friends. Nobody was at home. I knew that I needed help because the, the, the pain was getting, like I said, intensely unbearable. And so I called up a friend and I said, hey, look, I, I think I need to see help. You know, I, I wanted to see a doctor or either at least go to some hospital. I didn't know what, I was, what was happening to me. I just thought that I needed help. And so my friend said, okay, sure, no problem. She will bring me to the nearest clinic. Three seconds, three minutes later, she called me back. She said that there's a huge jam and she wouldn't be able to drive me to the hospital. What she will do is that she will call the ambulance and get the ambulance to bring me to the hospital. And I said, sure, do it. I mean, do, do whatever you can. But at that point in time, I was 24 years old. And as a 24-year-old male, I knew that I had to do something, right? I mean, when you're a 24-year-old male, you have to do something to help you out of any situation you're in, right? Hot, red-blooded male, I have to do something, yeah? And so for me at the point in time, what seems to be the most natural thing to do was just to open the door, open the front gate so that the ambulance team can then get help to me faster. Because to me is that the faster I can get help, the better it will, it will help me. So I took the keys, I stood up, and then I fell down completely. 
And I realized that the right side of my body, the entire right side of my body, I had absolutely no control. I was completely no control over the right side of my body. And that was when I realized I was having a stroke. That was when I was having a stroke. And, and, and for those of you who understand the human body, the right side of our brain controls the left side, whereas the left side of the brain controls the right side of our body. The reason why I was having a stroke, the reason, the reason why I couldn't see the right side was because right, there, was a, there was this clot on the left side of my body, on my brain, that was growing bigger and bigger. And that was why there was a headache that was getting more intense and more intense. What do you think I did next? Anybody? Considering the fact that right now I wasn't, I wasn't able to walk, I was having an intense headache, I knew I needed help. What do you think I did next? Anybody? Anybody wants to type in your answer or just to... Uh, give me an idea as to what you what would you think I did next? Yeah. At a point in time, at a point in time, it was I, I just knew I, I needed to find help. And so even though I wasn't able to 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 I was having that pain and, and, and I wasn't able to move half of my body, I just wanted to crawl to the gate so that I can open the front door. Because my goal was to open the front door so that the ambulance team can get to me faster. So I crawled using the keys that I took, crawled to the front door, and then when I looked at the keys, I realized that I couldn't even identify any of the five keys. That was how damaging the, the stroke was having to me. Right, the stroke was so severe, was so serious that at a point in time, I wasn't able even to identify the five keys that I was holding, and I had to, in a way, crawl back to the bed and just wait it out, wait it out for about five, ten minutes before the ambulance team came. They crashed down the front door and got me into the ambulance, and then I knocked out. I went into a coma for three weeks. After three weeks, when I woke up, I realized that one third of my skull was carved away. What they did was an emergency surgery whereby they removed the blood and then they, I wasn't able to move half my body. I wasn't able to see half my visual field. I wasn't able to speak, right? The, the, the stroke was so damaging that I wasn't able to even to articulate, I wasn't able to speak. So I began my life as a doctor, very much as a patient. You know, when it comes to breakthroughs, I realized that there are three keys that we can think about when it comes to breakthroughs. Remember the three principles that we talked about earlier? Out from those three principles, we can talk about three keys. And what I want to do today is to relate those three principles, the three keys, to what people at Energic, people at Kangan Water can relate to. Because when I was speaking to Kent, Kent was saying that these are certain things, these are certain areas that people from the Energic team may be interested in. And that is number one to really to be, to have sustained focus. Number two, to really to have, uh, to embrace challenges. And number three, advancement in your rank, right? All these three things I can relate to because all these three things are in a way related to the three principles that I was speaking about earlier. When it comes to key number one, and that is really, you realize that, you understand that all, we are all built for breakthroughs. Every single one of us, we are all built 
for breakthroughs, right? Everybody in life can succeed. What I really believe in is that you are born to lead, we are born to win, we are born to succeed, all right? If you agree and you believe in what I just said, maybe you all can just type in a one in support, that you believe that we are all born to win, that we are all born to succeed, that we are all born to lead, right? But of course, whenever I teach this, whenever I say this, there will always be people that will say, how can that be, Dr. Darren? Isn't it true that there are people that are leaders and there are people that are followers? But, you know, in life, what I mean by when I say that we are born to lead is that we are all born to lead because all of us, we are born with certain gifts and we are all born with certain talents. And we are meant to lead. We are meant to win. We are meant to take success using those talents, using those gifts that we all have. We are born to win because we are meant to become winners through this mindset of winning. We are born to lead through your leadership because you have the mindset of leadership. And so we, I really understand and I really believe that all of us, we are born to succeed using the talent and the gift that all of us have. We have 8 billion people right now on planet Earth, and every single one of us, we have a talent, we have a gift, and we are born to use those talents, to use those gifts, to add value to the people that's around us. And so it's very important for us to have this mindset of leadership, right? Leadership is no longer about you leading me, but it is really about inspiring and motivating people using the gifts that you have, right? So that you can help people to bring them up, bring them higher, bring them further, and ultimately to bring them better. The second key is to really to understand about the strategies of breakthroughs. If we want to have breakthroughs, we need to have certain strategies. You know, we need to have strategies when things become difficult. Nobody will ask you to have a breakthrough if, you, if, you, if I'm asking you to, 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 to calculate 2 plus 2, nobody will ever think about, let me think about a good strategy because everybody knows how to add 2 plus 2, right? So you only need a strategy when there is a challenge. You need a strategy when you want to have a breakthrough. And so for us to have breakthroughs, we need to have certain key strategies. And one of the strategies that I've always taught is really about goals, goal setting. Over here at uh, what, what we're doing at the um, key, uh, Mindset Transformation Clinic, we do what is called a two, two, four, six approach when it comes to goal setting. And this really helps people in understanding that goal setting is not just about goal setting alone, but it is about goal setting, goal getting, getting at your goals, and then finally to embrace the goals and celebrate it, right? Because a lot of people set their goals at the beginning of the year, but they don't know how to continue, right? When it comes to goals, we need to always end off with celebration, all right? Even before you start your goal journey, we need to think about the fact that you will end up with celebrating the success of your goals. And for those of you who are interested about this technique that we do about this 246 approach, let us know. When it comes to your work, I think when it comes to our work, and I'm speaking to a lot of people uh, when it comes to uh, Energic the last time, I think many people would appreciate that none of you 
look at yourself as employed, as employees. And so you don't see yourself as job earners. But I'm going to ask you a simple question. I'm going to ask you, do you see yourself as something, as your work, as something that you are born to do? Or is it something that you have to do? Is it something that you... Because when you are doing something whereby it is a job, you, it is more of like something that you have to do, that you want to do it. But when you, it's something that is more personal, when it's more about who you are, it becomes a work. And, and what I mean is this. Your job, it's your employment. But your work is your deployment. Deployment in the gifts, using the gifts that you have. Deployment using the gifts and talents that you have, right? Employment is about your living, your deployment, your, your work is really about your impact, how you can impact the people that's around you. And so to understand and to distinguish whether or not you are working for yourself or you are doing a job for others, this is important because this will determine and this will impact how you treat yourself when it comes to the work that you do. When it comes to the work that I do, I do, the key thing that I do, if you are to really to ask me, is really about entrepreneurship. I like to teach people, I like to educate people. My, my first business was that in education, um, in childhood education, I teach students from the age of 10 years old to the age of 17, 18 years old. And it's really in the area of science, maths, English. And I set up a school. And, and one of the highlights of Potter's Clay Education, that company, was that we actually guarantee an A1, A2. Otherwise, it's money back guarantee for the students. So that was, that was the confidence that we had in the quality that we are giving, but also the conviction that we have that whatever that we do is really to be, to be able to help students that's around us. My second company was really for the adults. And for the adults training, that is where Mindset Transformation, uh, that was where uh, Mindset Transformation Clinic came about. It is really to let people know that we are born to be who we are. We need to become, we need to become the person that we are born to be using our talents, using our gifts. We are all meant to fly higher, dive deeper, run further, and to be better. And, and because I believe in that, that all of us need to be better day by day, every single day. That's why I set up Mindset Transformation Clinic to help people to realize their goals, to realize their deepest and truest potential. These are some of the companies that I have helped with. And the third key is about how do we live a life of breakthroughs? And when it comes to living a life of breakthroughs, it's really important to understand about this idea of Prisoner of Hope, which is the book that I bought, uh, that I wrote, uh, my second book, right? This idea of Prisoner of Hope. We are all prisoners of hope. In fact, we are all prisoners, right? We can either be a prisoner of hope or you can be a prisoner who is trapped within the fears, within the limitations that we place upon ourselves. Because all of us in life, we are all prisoners. I believe that rather than being a prisoner trapped within my fears, trapped within my uh, challenges, I would rather be someone who is a prisoner of hope. But many people also ask me, uh, why hope? Isn't hope something that is 50-50? Isn't, isn't hope something that is very iffy? But for me, the true definition of what hope is, is what um, St. Paul 
said uh, way back when he was way back in uh, in AD 65. He said, St. Paul, he said that the hope is really about the assurance and the conviction of the things that is not yet seen. In other words, we hope, when we say that we hope for something, it's, a, it's that thing that you know that will come to pass surely, eventually. Maybe perhaps not today, maybe not perhaps tomorrow, but you know that you know that you know in your gut that it will come to pass. That is true hope. And so, using this idea of a prisoner of hope, being a prisoner of hope, I created this strategy and to, and to understand and to teach people to realize that in life, for us to live a life that is fully fulfilled, right? we either, we either focus on our fulfillment in the things that we do, and if you just focus on our fulfillment, doing the things that we do, we only live a life, the area under the graph, the green, the, the, the blue area, almost maybe about one, one fifth or at the best, one quarter of the life. If you ask yourself the other question about your faith, about who you are, so fulfillment is about what you do, faith is about who you are. If you focus entirely about always talking about who you are, who I am, what I can be, about your faith, about your self-belief, I think that also doesn't limit, that also limits you to a certain extent. I think being fully expressed as to, as to be the full person to who you are needs you to embrace the idea of faith, who you are, as well as what you can do, your fulfillment. And once you can embrace these two ideas together in everything that you do in your life, that is where you will achieve your greatest potential. For me, I have decided that despite of my stroke, I wanted to live a life that is greatly, that is fully fulfilled. I wanted to live a life with no regrets. And so I live a life challenging myself and challenging the world to let them know that just because I have a condition, it doesn't limit me. It doesn't push me towards a corner. In fact, it challenges me to want me to do much more, not only for myself, but also to society, to tell people that despite and in spite of whatever situations that you are in, you can still always strive to be better. And so these are some of the awards that I have. The latest one being from uh, Go Chok Tong and Able Award. And that was the video that you saw earlier just now. Some of the other awards that I saw uh, that, that I've had is Coaching Award, uh, some Business Awards. These are some of the media awards that I've had before as well. And I'm showing you all this, not to show you about how good I am, I am just showing you this to encourage everybody to let you know that even a stroke survivor can achieve just because he believes. These are some of the testimonials that I've had. Ministers, uh, business leaders, leaders in society, Again, like I said, not to show how fantastic I am because I think I am very ordinary, but I just want to encourage everybody that despite of whatever situations that you are in, there is always, and you can always do something for your breakthrough. And the only way to do that for your breakthrough is to always to focus on finding elevated habits. All of us have habits. And the, problem, and the problem is that many of us are, uh, are afraid, afraid of having new habits because you're always thinking, oh no, another new habit. And then it becomes very, very scary because something new always seems to be something difficult. But I am here to tell you, most of us, age 30 and above, there is no such thing as a new habit. I don't think I will ever have a new habit. But what I can have is I can have a better habit. 
And that is what I mean by elevated habits. I don't think we will ever have a new habit. What I can have is to have better habits. And using this idea of having better habits, I was challenging myself. Despite my stroke condition, is there anything that I can do about my body that I can challenge myself that, can, that I can be better? And so I was asking myself, is there any sports that I can play even though I was having a stroke, even though half of my body is paralyzed? I was challenged to play table tennis. And in 2015, we got a goal for Singapore ASEAN Games. Further on, in 2018, somebody challenged me and said, why don't you try the Spartan Wings? And I knew that Spartan Wings by itself, if I were to do it myself, I would never be able to do it. Because for those of you who are familiar with the Spartan Race, it requires many, many, many things to do. But I believe that with some innovation, with teamwork, I believe that I am able to complete the Spartan Race. And what I did was I got a group of friends together who believed in me. They helped me to train. And in 2018, we finished a Spartan Race together. Finally, I just want to talk about when it comes to elevated habits, when it comes to really living a life of breakthroughs, it is really about celebration, living a life of celebration. And when you live a life of celebration, we need to understand in order to live a life of celebration, we are not celebrating ourselves. We are always thinking about how to celebrate our life together with the people that is around us. And when it comes to thinking about living a life that is of celebration, helping those that's around us. I'm always thinking about ways to give back to the community. And that's what I do with a lot of my NGO con uh, con conviction uh, that I do. NGOs, uh, I also give back in the form of bursaries. And so I I've come to the end of my presentation. And I would just want to end off with a question. And, and, and that is really about challenging you to think about an area of breakthrough that you want to achieve. Is there any area of breakthrough that you want to achieve? And I challenge you to put it down into the chat box and challenge yourself by writing it down. What is it that you want to be convicted to, that you want to be committed to when it comes to breakthrough? What do you want to have your breakthrough for the rest of this year? If you have any of these ideas, please feel free to write it down in the chat box so that you can start your, 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 your first steps, your mini steps, your small steps towards achieving your breakthrough. Our, our breakthrough starts with you identifying and number two, with you firmly believing that you can create your reality. But the first step really starts with you committing and writing it down. So really, maybe one minute just for everyone to write down what is it that you're committed to for your breakthrough for the rest of 2023. You know, when it comes to breakthroughs, the reason why I really enjoy having breakthroughs is really the sweetness of adversity. I've always looked at adversity and I found it that adversity is an opportunity for us to be better. You know, what else is sweet in life? Good friends are always sweet in life. And people like Brennan in my life, it is really something that's wonderful because he not only pushes me to be better, he also, you know, with our conversations with one another, trying to think of better ideas, better programs to make sure that we can help people like you to, to elevate, to be better as well. So before I give you back to his, uh, and give him some time for himself, I would like to give your uh, one last video from me to you. Enjoy.
Start with your thoughts. yourself to create that life to live. It's my lifestyle. Yes, to reading. Yes, to my life. Yes, to disability. It's only in the mind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, wasn't that an awesome, awesome sharing by Dr. Darren? For those of you that loved what Dr. Darren shared, please give me a one in the chat right now just to show him your love and show him your support. Give him a one in the chat right now. Thank you very much. Now, Dr. Darren has, you know, because of his... Um, ability to share and coach all these high-end executives. He actually runs also a 10-week course um, over 13 weeks of coaching, 10-day coaching course that's run over 13 weeks. And I'm just going to share with you a bit about what actually goes through during this course. Now, during this course itself, you know, when you actually join this 10-week coaching, you'll actually be able to discover who is the true you, right? All of us have been put on this earth for a huge purpose, right? All of us have been put on this earth for a different purpose. Whatever that purpose is, during that coaching session, Dr. Darren will be able to help you to peel the onions, the many, many layers that you have to uncover right deep down inside. What is your true meaning to be put on this earth? What are you put on this earth to help others with, right? What will that be? Now, the other thing that he shared earlier, he's got this 246 approach that he's prepared to share with you and uncover for you how you can do your goal setting, how you can actually do your goal getting, and more importantly, how you can go through your goal journeys to be able to, for you to achieve and hit your target and go through, not just go at, but go through to be able to hit your target and go through to get your breakthroughs as well. Now, the other thing is he'll be able to share with you and help you to uncover how you can rejuvenate your network. You know, you always hear people say that, hey, my network is my net worth or your network is your net worth, right? Now, not only that, you know, he'll be able to help you to uncover your network, get, get your network in towards you, bring them closer towards you to help you to net your worth, right? To be able to Use your network. Use that huge network that all of you have. And a lot of times, some people say that, hey, I've got a network. Yes, I mean, I meet them for catch-ups, like coffee sessions, but somehow I do not know how to kind of, you know, not, well, I wouldn't say use them, right? But kind of like use them to help, help them help you to help them, if that kind of makes sense, right? Help them to be able to, you know, help them to, to, to solve a problem, right, that they all have. Now, the other thing is, 
He's got a 6P approach to help you to elevate your brand, to bring you to the next level, right? Now, a lot of the times, you know, um, you know now, now not only are we doing live sessions right now, a lot of people are going, ever since COVID happened, we have all gone towards the online medium, right? Today, if you're not online, you have to be online, right? And not only that, today, if you do not have a brand, right? People always ask me, hey, what makes you special? What makes you so special? And what makes you different from the other speaker? Or what makes this dis distributor different from the other distributor, right? Energy is a huge brand, right? Kanga Water, everyone, you know, I mean, I, I know a lot of people out there that take Kanga Water. You know, I, I know there's a lot of dis different distributors as well. At the end of the day, all of you are different, right? All of you must have your own brand. So he's going to be able to help you to create your own six-piece approach to building your own brand as well. So that, you know, not only will you be able to represent Kangen Water and Energic properly, at the same time, you'll be able to bring your own unique self, your own unique brand, your own unique personality and character, right? To build it into this brand as well, to, to build it together with the Kangen Water brand. Now, he's also got a CERT, C-E-R-T method for you to help you to sell your story. Now, all of us come from different backgrounds. All of us have been through, you know, all sorts of different things in our life, all sorts of different, I mean, um, I don't know what Darren shared earlier. You know, I myself, I was actually, um, if I can quickly share, I was, um, I actually lost my job three times, right? I was actually uh, retrenched three times in my life. And I've been down in the dumps, but I've been up there as well. No, but at the end of the day, all of us have a different, different story to sell, right? Now, Dr. Darren, during his coaching session, he'll be able to help you to run through and also create, not only create, if you have already a story, he'll help you to refine your story. A lot of the times, you know, I don't know whether you've heard this saying, your mess is your message, right? And do not be shy about your mess. Do not be shy about sharing with the world your message. Like I said, all of us are put on this earth for a purpose. You have a purpose. You have actually a directive to be able to share your message throughout the world out there. You'll be very surprised, you know, when you actually, you know, get out, get out of the shadow, get out of your hiding, get out of your shell, get out there to share your message. Tell everyone out there, how good, you know, how good Kangen water is, how good energy water is, how good you are, right? And what makes you so different from the next distributor? Dr. Darren will help you to uncover all this and more. Now, not only that, he'll be able to help you to use your inner authentic profile, right? To bring it all out, to engage the world. A lot of the times, you know, I've, um, my background is I've actually been in the personal development space for a long time, since 2000s. Uh, that was back in 2008, in fact, long time ago. And I used to work with for the largest seminar company in the entire world called Success Resources. And they bring in speakers like Bill Clinton, uh, Donald Trump, before he was president, right? Um, Robert Kiyosaki, incidentally, he's down in town this couple of days. Um, Tony Robbins, right? The largest, the, the, the biggest seminar speaker in the entire world. So I used to attend all these seminars. Um, and I know some of them on a personal basis as well. But the thing is, I've, I've met so many different speakers. But what, what actually differentiates the, the really good speaker, right, um, from the next, next speaker on the street, right? And there's only one difference. For me, it's authenticity, right? Dr. Darren will help you to uncover and bring out your inner authentic self, right? So that, you know, when you're out there sharing your story, when you're out there sharing about Kangen water, right, to everyone out there, they'll be able to know that, oh, wow, this is... Um, you know, he, he's, he's, he's not a pushy person. You know, he's not trying to sell me something, right? But at the end of the day, it's, this is truly him. This is truly her, right? I can really feel, right? They can feel, people can feel you. They can feel your energy, right? So Dr. Darren will be able to help you to uncover this and bring it out in you. And also, more importantly, he'll be able to help you to create sustainable success. After you, you do all these steps with him, what he wants to, uh, to help you achieve is to be able to help you to, create sustainable success so that you know a lot of people say that hey sometimes when you see a successful person some people say oh the guy is just lucky right oh you know what he happens to to find a good product you know and he he hit that one sale two sale he's just lucky because he's got that 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 that, that friend you know or, or he's got a good network no dr darren will actually teach you how he can replicate success not just hit success but to replicate it over and over and over and over again it's like a cookie cutter approach right so that you can replicate it throughout your entire life. Is that good? Good, right? For those of you that think it's good, 
please type a one in the chat box right now to let me know that you actually agree that it's good. Now, more importantly, the last step, right, that Dr. Darren will help you to do is he will help you to reprogram and reset your entire mind. Like what he said before, disability is only in the mind. And all of us, right? I mean, the, I, was, I was always sharing with people and I shared with him earlier, look, at the end of the day, and he was asking me earlier, Brent, how many people are going to be a, a, in this webinar? You know, and we were asking Ken as well during the week, you know. Uh, and Ken, Ken was telling me, you know, Brent, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. But sometimes a lot of my guys, they just turn up, right? And I'm so glad that all of you came down here today. Now, the fact that all of you made that extra step to come down here today, can I, or rather, can we agree that at the end of the day, something is missing in your life? Right? The reason why all of you are here today is because something is missing in your life. Right? And you want to achieve more. You want to have your breakthrough. You want to go through, go through further, run faster, you know, jump higher, go further than what you have done. Some of you say, hey, you know, I, I, I'm already a successful leader and all that. But no, success breeds success. There's still, behind every successful leader, there's still another successful mentor, another successful leader. Right? Even, even, even people like The Rock, for all of you that know, you know, the... Um, the, the former wrestler, now number one uh, American actor and bodybuilder, The Rock, even he have a coach, right? Behind every successful person, there's always a coach, a mentor that can bring you to the next level. And that's what all of us want to do. That's what all of us, all of us here at Mindset Transform uh, Transformation Clinic with Dr. Darren here, all of us want that for all of you, right? We want to be able to bring you to the next level, because only when you go to the next level, will you be able to help more people out there. And that's what we want to happen. Now, if all of you can help me to do this right now, I want you all to take, um, take out your phone right now and just scan this feedback form, right? Because Dr. Darren always loves to improve himself, right? And we're always looking to improve ourselves. Um, and at the end of the day, we hope to be able to come back again to meet more of more of the energy distributors, right? Because I know today that there's, there's um, I think, 30 over of you in, in this room right now. Um, but like Ken said, you know, there's, there's all of you all over the world and all of you, some of you have, have huge teams as well. We want to be able to reach out to more people. But, they, but also we want to, you know, be able to uh, meet, meet you guys uh, at a convenient time, right? And really, I really, truly, the bottom of my, of my heart, really, really appreciate all of you for taking your precious time here especially the guys, you know, in London, you guys woke up so early, um, uh, Dubai, you know, Singapore, I've got lots of people from Singapore, there's some people from Malaysia, Philippines, Ken just told me, Vietnam as well, Australia as well, right? Uh, I used to study in Australia, uh, I love Australia, I really miss it as well. But if you guys can go in and just scan this feedback form, a couple of questions in there, uh, just help us to answer so that we can better tailor our webinars, future webinars to meet your time. And also more importantly, let us know what sort of topics you might want, right, to know other than, you know, having your, your own breakthrough. We've got a whole bunch of topics as well that we want to be able to bring to you to help you get through to the next level, right? Um, and also, uh, one of the questions in there, uh, I think at the bottom, uh, there is an opportunity, Dr. Darren, like Dr. Darren said earlier, uh, he's written two books, right, that have gone international. And um, he wants to, you know, enable all of you, right, to be able to have a chance to... Um, get his book. Now, he wrote a book for a reason. It's a semi-autobiography, but at the end of the day, he's also got some breakthrough strategies that he's uh, left in the book as well, right? So when you get his book, you'll be able to, you'll be able to read um, these things. Now, um, okay, sorry, I was, I was blocking the, the, the QR code earlier. So scan this. If you can't scan it, you can go to the website, which is uh, http uh, bit.ly slash Dr. Darren uh, with a capital D, double, double Ds. Dr. Darren, feedback form. Um, sorry, let me just move a bit further. There you go. Dr. Darren, feedback form. You can just type it in um, or just scan it using your phone, right? So once you're done, let me know. Put it on your uh, chat box. Right? If you can't scan it, just type it in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right. Just help me to answer those questions over there. And also, there's an opportunity for you to um, get Dr. Darren's book. Right. Now, Dr. Darren's book, um, basically, because he's in Singapore, what he has so nicely uh, said to Ken that, you know, he will 
Uh, and and actually, actually, we'll really like to thank Ken, right? So when you get a book, right, because we are based in Singapore, we will then have to deliver the books over to you, wherever you are in the world, right? Um, but what Dr. Darren has done, he's actually found out that, look, in order to deliver a book, there's a lot of costs involved, right? Now, the book costs $16, but there's also, I think, bank charges. There's also a box that, that you know, we got to purchase from the, from the post office. Um, and also, we, we, we realized when you guys transfer the money over to Dr. Darren, uh, you send it to his bank account, there's going to be bank charges to and fro, right? Receiving charges and sending charges as well, both, right? So at the end of the day, when you calculate everything, um, and there's also exchange rate as well. Um, so when you buy one book, I think it might not be that worth it. But Dr. Darren has uh, very, very nicely agreed to say that, look, when you get um, a bundle of 10 books or more, that means when you get 10 books or more, he, get this, he is willing to waive everything, waive all the charges. That means he's going to get rid of the bank charges, the two bank charges, to and fro. He's going to get rid of the, you know, the, the, the little carton box uh, charge as well that he has to purchase from the post office. Um, there's going to be exchange rate as well. Um, now, exchange rate, what's going to happen is when you go to the, the bank, to do, your, to do your bank transfer, um, all you need to do, right? Supposing if you're buying, buying 10 books, which is going to be $160, right? Just tell the, the bank that, hey, I want to send, uh, the receiver has to receive $160, right? So, so uh, let them know that, look, I want the receiver to receive $160. That's it, right? And then let the bank do everything else, right? As long as, as, long as the, the receiver receives $160, that's fine, right? So Dr. Darren has very nicely um, told, told Ken that said, you know, he's going to get rid of all the charges um, if people buy 10 books or more. So let's say you want to buy 11 books, right? 10 books is going to be no charges. 11 books, no charges. 15 books, also no charges. But also, so all those that are overseas, when I mean overseas, that means all countries except Singapore, what's going to happen is we're going to post the book over to you. Now, don't worry, we're not going to wrap up the book. We're going to put it in a nice box, you know, so that it'll be properly protected so that when you get the book, it's, it's all nice as well. Not only that, Dr. Darren, you know, a lot of times um, when you buy a book, right, uh, you know how you can up the value of the book? Do you know how you can up the value? Now, how people up the value of the book is this. They get the author to sign for you. So what Dr. Darren is going to do is he's going to be signing every single book to each and every one of you so that you have a signed copy, limited edition signed copy, because he's not printing any new copies anymore. He's going to give you a limited edition signed copy of his book, right? When you purchase 10 books or more, um, it's going to be basically no fees involved at all, right? So just, just head on down, uh, write down how many books you want. And then the other thing is, uh, once you're done, uh, there is one last question uh, for you to, to enable you to be able to have a one hour coaching. Oh yeah, wait, before that, once you're done, let's say if you, for those of you that want to purchase the book, right? Kindly, 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 please email to Dr. Darren, contact at drdarrenchua.com. Please take a photo of this um, with your bank transfer receipt because at the end of the day, when you send money over to him, right? Uh, the team is going to be receiving a lot of, you know, money coming from all over the world. Uh, and sometimes the, the bank account do not tell you if, with, with the names and all that. So please email your bank transfer receipt uh, and also write down your full name as per your bank account, right? So that we know who it is. But also, right, your, your registration that you fill in in the feedback form, um, please let us know what name it is, right? So let's say if you are going to be asking your friend to transfer or maybe your bank account is like your, like another name, like your first name or a, or a special name as well, nickname, right? But the name you wrote in your feedback form is different. Please let us know all these three items, right? So that the team can tally. Once all these three information is tally, then the book will be delivered to you, right? And the good thing is, good news is for those of you that are in Singapore, right? Uh, Ken has very, very, very kindly agreed to say that, look, all of you that are in Singapore, what you can do is you can just go collect the book personal, personally uh, over at the energy office, right? So we're going to be bringing the books over to the energy office, leaving it there. You can just go there and collect the books. Um, and also, you know, obviously have the chance to head back to the energy office and say hi to Ken, right, Ken? Now, also, uh, take out your phone right now, scan this, right? 
when you scan this in, you will be able to get one-on-one -on -one session, private coaching session one-on-one, -on -one, right? For one hour on Zoom with Dr. Darren, right? Typically, Dr. Darren charges for this is $350, but for all of you, it's a bonus, right? So what he's agreed to do when you scan this in, you'll go to his personal calendar for the next one and a half, almost two weeks, two weeks, right? One and a half, almost two weeks, right? He set aside some time, especially for all of you, right? Go in right now, book his time. Book his time right now because his time is very limited and it gets filled really fast. So first come, first serve. Um, going to book his time right now. Um, now during the session, you're free to ask him anything, right? And I always believe, look, sessions with Dr. Darren is always so, so precious, right? Going to book your time with him right now. If you're not sure, if you're not sure about, hey, should I be booking... Should, should I be booking um, the time or, or anything, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't know about my schedule. Not to worry, right? Just go in. I say, go in and book the time right now, straight away. If you need to change it, now, be, once you book the time, what's going to happen is um, there will be a uh, message or email that will be sent to you to confirm the date and time and more importantly, to give you the Zoom link, right? In case, let's say you book now and tomorrow you say, oh, you know what? I, I checked my schedule. Oops, I forgot that, you know, uh, Monday I've got something on. Uh, I might need to change on Tuesday I've got something on. Don't worry, right? Uh, you can still change it, but take action first, right? At the end of the day, I always believe that, look, when you take action, there's going to be a result. Whether it's a good result or bad result, I'm not sure, but there will be a result, right? The world belongs to the askers, right? Knock and the door shall be opened unto you, right? Ask and it... it ask and you shall find, seek and you shall find as well, right? So today we'll give you an opportunity to spend one on one with Dr. Darren, pick his brain, ask him anything you want. And, and you know, I will always encourage everyone to say, look, go, if you don't know what to ask, go research, right? Think of what is the toughest question you can ask Darren. You've got one hour with him, you know, pick his brain, use him as much as possible, right? Um, so do that. That's, that's all, um, right? So scan this, go to Dr. Darren, Energic, Dot com. Now, this is a copy of his, his book that you can see. You, of course, receive the physical copy. It's not an e-copy, right? And also, for those of you that want to get in touch with Dr. Darren, you can search for him, drdarrenchua.com. Uh, my name is Brand, B-R-E-N-K-H-O-R. You can also search for me. I'm everywhere on social media, Brand Core uh, as well. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to be bringing Dr. Darren back, right, for some Q&A. Uh, feel free to ask him anything. I mean, if you've got questions you want to ask him, that's very personal. Leave it for during the one-on-one -on -one session with him. But feel free to ask him anything you like right now. Um, I'm just going to switch on the chat just to see whether there's any questions that came on. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Okay, if, if, if you guys want to... Um, Unmute yourself, right? I'll just allow all of you to unmute yourself. Uh, if you want to speak as well, that's also fine. Um, all right. Okay, I've given you the opportunity to unmute yourself. Or if you're too shy, you can type into the chat, right? Um, yeah. Thanks, man. No, no problem. Thank you so much. No problem, no problem. So what... what um, some of the some common questions that we had, right? Um, or rather, one of the questions that we had the last round when we spoke at uh, Energic's office in Singapore, um, some people actually th was asking, hey, that one-on-one -on -one coaching session, is it the same as that 13-week, the 10 sessions? Um, is that the same or, or is it just a snippet or like a, or is that like considered the first session of that session? No, no. Or what is it? No, so, so the one-on-one -on -one complimentary session the one-on-one -on -one complimentary session is really anything that you want to ask from you. So, so really the question is from you to me on any particular topic that you want to ask. And then the 10-week coaching session is then a particular program that I have carved out for distributors like you who want to elevate and be better. So, so, so it's different. It's different. The one-on-one -on -one Complimentary session, it's really about you asking me anything. Whereas the 10-week coaching session, the program that I design is really for you to be better at what you're doing for your business. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks Dr. Darren. Thank you. Now, um, 
Let me see. Was there any other question? Uh, there were some questions that were asked before. Right. Um, let me just have a think about what, what some of the common questions were. Um, was Okay. One of the questions that were asked was, uh, how do you, how does one, you know, let's say if, let's say if I've gotten my breakthrough already, you know, let's say, I mean, let's say, for example, after my session with you, mm. uh, I managed to get my breakthrough. How do I, how does one continually or, or maybe like how how do you right? I mean you have you have you've gotten breakthroughs before in your life, but what makes you like you know um continue on to go go for more breakthrough? Or how do you keep yourself motivated? You know, once you've gotten one breakthrough, it's like yeah, hey, I've done it. You know, like but how 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 do you keep yourself motivated? So so that's where that's where I believe our understanding and idea of what success truly is, right? So when you achieve something and assuming you've got a goal. That is an achievement that you keep forever and everybody recognizes you as a gold medalist at this particular time, at this particular day. But just because you are a gold medalist today doesn't necessarily mean that this is your best. And, and this is the whole idea of being successful because success is about being better every other day. Success is about being better tomorrow, being better next week. So. Even though you have had a big breakthrough today, you can always seek for a better breakthrough tomorrow. So a breakthrough is something that you are continually aiming higher and aiming better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Darren. All right. Fantastic. Let me just quickly check the, uh, check the check box, sure. whether there's any other uh, further questions as well. Now, all right. It looks like I think um, most of the questions... Uh, Answer. have been answered you know some of you have actually pm'd pm directly which i've also answered to you um wow awesome someone said i want to commit myself to working hard helping people to be more healthy to be healthier and being the best leader achieving my 6a oh wow i just, Wonderful. Got, I just got goosebumps as well Wonderful. and someone said focus and helping the world to succeed in health and well-being awesome Wonderful. Unlocking another level of leadership in my life that will lead me and my team. Awesome. Not just awesome. yourself. Now, today's breakthrough is not only just about yourself, but how you... Now, only when you have your own breakthrough, you'll be able to help your team That's right. have their breakthrough as well. That's it's, right. not, it's not just about you yourself, you know, but in order for you to help other people go even further, you yourself have to have that breakthrough as well. So together, all of us will be able to play at a higher level, right? Today, I always ask people, why delay success, right? Or why delay a greater success, right? Today, at the end of the day, look, there's that ceiling or rather there's that goal that you set. Why set yourself this goal? Why not set yourself, once you've hit this goal, why not set yourself a higher goal and a higher goal and a higher goal? So that at the end of the day, there's always, there's, there'll, there'll always be multiple breakthroughs in your life. Not just having that one breakthrough and say, hey, okay, I've hit my goal. Done deal, over. Life only gets exciting when you play at the highest level. So really... Exactly. Yeah. Play at the highest level, right? Don't delay your own breakthrough. Do not delay your own success, right? And only when you play at a higher level will you be able to bring people to an even higher level as well. That's right. Right? And, and look, think back of the reason why you joined this industry. Think about the reason why you joined Energy, why you joined Kangoo and Water, why you chose. You guys make the choice, right? And since you made the choice, make the most of it. Go out to spread the word. Go out even further. Play even higher, go even, you know, um, get even more breakthroughs. I mean, in life, embrace, embrace who you are, right? And, and I mean, if, if Kangen Water, it's, this is what you are meant to do, then really play at the highest level, play at the best that you can be. Awesome, awesome. I'm really, 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 really excited. I mean, to firstly see all of you, so many people from different countries That's coming right. in. I think this is awesome. There's the power of technology as well. And thank you so much. Ken, as well as uh, the entire Energic team, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come down here to serve all of you. I really, really appreciate it. And thank I'm you so much. Very, very excited to, to see how, how all of you will be, you know, how, how all of you will become. What's the next level that you're going to play? And I was telling Ken that, look, we're going to be back. This is not just a one-off thing, right? We want to be back over and over again to be able to meet up with all of you so we can hear all your success stories. I'm very, very, very excited and I cannot wait to hear more, right? But if, if, if you've got no other questions, I'd like to thank all of you for taking your precious time here this afternoon again to come down here to find out more about breakthroughs with Dr. Darren, 
All right, Dr. Derry, got any last words for them? No, I am very excited. I hope you see uh, more, more of you, most of you uh, in the feedback form. I will be knowing, I will getting more of them, right, from their yes, feedback form ideas. Right. So, yeah. Can't, can't wait to meet you guys on the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Awesome. Thank you so much. And then for those of you that, that have ordered your books, right, not to worry. Once you send the details through, send your payment through with all the all the information, the team will get back to you. Mm -hmm. And then they will just they will send the books, books over to you, yeah. yeah. And then those of you that fill in the feedback form, Dr. Darren will have a look at the feedback form. Form if you have filled in the one-on-one -on -one consultation, right? Um, I'll be meeting you soon. Absolutely. I'm so excited for all of you to see and know, find out about your breakthrough. All right. Yeah. If not, that's all we have for you. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good weekend. God bless. Take care. And all the best in your success. See Thank you. you. See you. Take care.